with the DEXI build complete, we're one step closer to being able to fly and program our DEXI drone. But before we do that, an important part of the process is configuration. Configuration will consist of setting up the airframe, being able to calibrate the sensors, doing the radio setup. And the wonderful thing about this process is not only will you gain knowledge about how to set up DEXI and in the future be able to troubleshoot it, this knowledge also applies to a lot of open source platforms uh, based on ArduPilot or PX4. We'll start off by making sure that you install QGround Control. I'm on QGroundControl.com. There are downloads for uh, various operating systems. In this case, I will be running QGround Control on Windows, but we run it successfully on Mac and Linux. Go ahead and download and install, and then we'll move on to beginning the configuration. With QGround Control open, uh, full battery charge. The artboard comes with two SD cards. One is for PX4 flight logs, and the other is for the Raspberry Pi. This SD card comes pre-flash with a lot of tools that will make our lives easier as it relates to connecting to the Dexi Wi-Fi hotspot and running the drone blocks, ROS2, and other software components in the future. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and power up Dexi by plugging in my battery into the XT60 bulkhead connector. On first boot, you might need to wait uh, two to three minutes just for the Dexi uh, software services to initialize and boot up. So what you'll see after that is done, I will go to my network settings. And then you should see Dexi broadcasting a network. Now these last four characters will be different for your setup, but we'll go ahead and connect. And then I'm going to connect with a standard password. The password will be drone blocks. You can see drone blocks here. And I'll run this quick sanity check. I'll just ping the uh, Dexi IP. You can see here that a Dexi is responding, so that is good. Then we'll move on to establishing our initial communication with Dexi. Now QGround Control is going to talk to Dexi wirelessly. That's going to make it easy for us to uh, configure sensors and not have to deal with a cable being in the way. So I'm going to go to Application Settings, Com Links, and I'll just create a new uh, connection here. So we'll call it Dexi build number one. We want to use a UDP for the type of communication. We'll leave port 14550 as the default. And as I demonstrated previously, the Dexi IP will be 192.168.4.1. So I'll add the server, click OK. We'll select the connection. I will click connect. We'll go back to our main screen. I'm now connected to Dexi over the Wi-Fi network and we can proceed with the configuration. 